I hope I will not be interrupted by the gentleman. What Mr. Vaiko said today is the most deplorable thing which could have been said. Saying that Hindi is an inferior language. It is an uncultured language. It's a not adequately developed language. Decrying a language, denigrating a language is the worst thing anybody can do. These are hate mongers. No, but there is no case. I mean, hmm, if, if somebody wants to speak Tamil, yes, he is entitled to speak Tamil. If he wants to propagate Tamil, he should he should certainly do uh, propagate Tamil. In fact, all the languages which are uh, enlisted in the Eighth Schedule, these are 22 languages. Most welcome about that. But to say one language is inferior because you speak in one language, the debate gets degenerated. I think strictest possible action should be taken against such people. They are inciting passions, they are inciting hatred for their narrow political gains. But let me just point out to the gentleman who was representing the view, Article 343 is, I wish, something he would have read. It says, official language of union. The official language of union shall be Hindi in Devanagari script. The form of numericals to be used for the official purpose of union shall be the international form of no, Indian. No, what are you union. reading again? Tell me. Notwithstanding anything in the clause one for a period of 15 years. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. This is Article no, 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 no. 343 of the Indian Constitution. Okay. Go ahead, please. Huh? Now, this is what the Constitution has provided. This is not what BJP has provided. You have a dispute with the constitutional provisions, please fight it out. But imposition, this what Mr. Vaiko has said is not talked about imposition of Hindi. He has denigrated the language. And that is what I think the entire polity should today stand up against such hate mongers. Mr. Vaiko has a history. He was in fact convicted for sedation because he was speaking out against the country. Now today he has picked up the, the speaking against a language just to incite hatred and passion. You know, your smaller identities is what you want to cater to for political uh, electoral purposes at the cost of what? At the cost of creating hatred. I think it is time that the media, the polity, everybody in, his, in, in its wisdom must condemn it unequivocally. <laughs> you, ha you want Tamil to be propagated and promoted, why not? Every language of India should be promoted, every language of India should be propagated. Where is the problem? But to say it is an inferior language, but to say the debate gets degenerated, this kind of a mindset, this kind of hatred must be fought tooth and nail. And okay, I have Mr. just Parvana? read you out the constitutional provisions. What has well, happened I, I, is a part of the constitutional yeah, provision. I, I, I want to point yeah. out it's not Mr. My Mithal, creation. Mr. Mithal, Mr. Mithal, Hindi is not the official language of India. In fact, it remains the regional language, English and Hindi, whichever one we may choose in our particular states that change. Right, it said 15 please, years from now that change was never brought. I have read out Article 4, you 243. You have, but you have not don't, read it in its read entirety. Don't uh, right. uh, read, read it in You're its right. entirety, Mr. Mittal. I read have read out, out <laughs> completely in its entirety. Okay, I shall, shall I read it in its I, entirety? You tell me which provision should I? Okay, I, no, one second, one second. Notwithstanding, it. I'll read it out to you. Notwithstanding any clause for a period of 15 years from the commencement of this constitution, English language shall continue to be used for the official purposes of the union for which it has been immediately done before such period of 15 years of English, yes. English language. Now, if you, if you knew your history, Mr. Mittal, shall purpose be specific. If you knew your this history, Mr. Mr. Mithal, okay, no, no, don't shout, don't get upset. I challenge you to read out 343. Okay. If you knew your history, Mr. Mittal, you know that that 15-year rule was never actioned. English, Hindi, and all regional languages remain okay, our official what is languages. 343? There is it says, no national it says language English in and Hindi. Right now. No. Okay, all right. So I just want to go bring back Mr. Sarvanan for have argument. Read Mr. Sarvanan? This un unfortunate part of it is you Google and you read the first uh, entry which is there in Google or Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not the Constitution of India. I am reading to you the Constitution of India. I challenge you to read Article 343. Debate it on that. Na? Debate me on facts. Don't debate me on what uh, Wikipedia writes. Okay. Yeah. That's not the law. The Mr. law Sarvanan? of this country is the constitution of India. Mr. Mr. And Mr. Mr. I expect okay, you to right. honor the constitution. Mr. Yeah. Don't make such wide Mr. allegations. Mithal. Mr. Mithal, first of all, there are only three of us on this, on this uh, particular yeah. debate. Both uh, the other two guests, the other guest and myself can hear you loud and clear. So can the audience. There's no reason to get upset. 
or to shout. Mr. Salvanand, your rebuttal, please. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, fi it is, it's, it's really funny that the BJP is speaking about hate-mongering and spreading hatred. Really, really funny. And let him, let him learn those lessons first, then we can preach them to the others. He is speaking about propagating the other regional languages. The question is, what has the central government done so far? They are taking our taxes. They are getting taxes from Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra, Kerala, West Bengal, Assam, all other places. But what have they done for those regional languages? 50 crores was allocated for appointing Hindi teachers for imposing Please. the third language. Was any kind of money was allocated for appointing regional teachers in regional languages? That has not been done. That is what we are saying. BJP is only doing lip service. The Prime Minister will say, Tamil is the most beautiful language in the world. That's it. It is the most oldest language in the world. And all everybody says, oh, see, look at the Prime Minister, how he is praising Tamil. That's it. What, did, what, what difference it's going to make? Unless there is some policy. Have they ever thought about propagating? Tell us, let Mr. Mittal say, any one innovative method, any one initiative of the central government to promote other languages other than Hindi. Okay, I just want if to point out that, one more time. Then we will agree. Okay, okay. I just want to point out one more time for what the clarification the of the audience. We are debating uh, what Vaiko has said. Yes, yes, yes. I just want to point out one more time for the clarification of the audience that Mr. Mittal was in fact reading out of the constitution when he said the official language of the union of the government of India will be Hindi in Devanagari script unless, unless parliament decides otherwise. The use of English for official purposes will cease on in 15 years. Now, Parliament never decided otherwise. And the use of English for official purposes has continued till this yes. date. And Mr. Mr. Sudhanshu Mittal belongs to a party right now, which is fully in control of Parliament. And if you do decide otherwise, and you're fully within your rights to do so, you can make what that change. What is your case? But Fine, as of what today, is your case? That case has we are debating Vaiko. Okay. I mean, I'm, I am amazed no, no. at what you're talking. No, no, I'm just I'm clarifying what you brought up, Mr. Mittal. I am debating speech of Vaiko. We are not debating versus Tamil. We are debating. Vaiko has said this language is an inferior language, and that is what I have objected to. He has said he has talked about a board. I am saying this is what is the provision of the constitution. You have heard this gentleman talking so viciously. I mean, we are debating when a politician like Vaiko spreads I'm not hatred speaking any by denigrating a I'm language. Is this what, what is the this right or this is wrong? That is what the debate is. I am willing to debate with anybody yeah. how the language should be promoted and whether central government is okay. promoting or not. Let that be the debate. But today's debate is a hate speech of Vaiko, you know, where um, he is denigrating right, a language. Okay, a so language which, according to the Article 343, is the official language of this country. So, okay, all right.